Hello and welcome back to Finch Plays FIFA 16 with Palermo in career mode. Here we are off the back of the last episode where of course we won the European International Cup. Massively happy with that. What the fuck, Sevilla? I, oh, sorry, I said Sevilla have signed Muller. Got sidetracked there. Uh, the first game of the episode is going to be up against Hearts as we look to qualify for the European uh, the European side of things, the Europa League. Um, a couple of changes. Of course, we've got Mbolo, Villalba has come back, which is fantastic. Uh, our keeper, Viviano, has gone out to QPR. Not too fussed about that. Sorrentino's filling the gap for the moment. And then we're going to get Schulze, our keeper, to come in and probably be our full time keeper, which is good. Um, also, this lad, Masucci, who was in our academy, I've opted to kind of bring him out and see what he does. He seems to be really good. He seems to have some kind of nice touches, some nice passes, kind of things like that. See if we can make use of him. He's not particularly fast, but he's a player that could maybe be a little bit dangerous the more we train him. Obviously, Gilardino is still going. He contacted me and he said, boss, I'm considering retiring at the end of the season, depending on how things go. Obviously, this is heartbreaking news for any Palermo fan any fan of this series he single-handedly carried us to glory uh, last season so we'll be sad to see him go if he does choose to go obviously I've, I've had players before who have said that they want to go I've then proceeded to win the league double or the treble or something like that and they've still said yeah I'm gonna go I've also had um, pretty poor seasons and they've decided to stay so I really don't know uh, how to base how likely it is that he's gonna leave uh, but we'll see what he does. This lad, Mascara, obviously still doing really, really well. I've actually decided to keep him on that left side, and I'm going to keep Villalba on this right side and see how we do. Um, I'm not too sure how you know how it's going to go down, but Villalba is going to slot back in. Mbolo is going to be our prime striker, and then whoever gets the more knackered, probably Mbolo, uh, not Mbolo, probably Mascara, will swap things around and introduce Mackinock into the into the fray as well. Uh, so yeah, our first game of the episode is going to be against Hearts. It's going to be a big game because we definitely need to win this to make sure that we can prosper in the Europa League and even reach it in the first place. So here we are with Palermo up against Hearts. Here's Franco Vasquez, the man of the moment, apparently. He's being uh, glorified in the pre-match the pre stuff. Um, it's a big game. Hearts, I don't think I've ever faced Hearts before. Um... We'll see how they do, because they could end up being opponents that surprise us. Of course, we've been surprised by uh, opponents that we've considered slightly below us before. I don't want to do that again. A try and cut back, but it's red so easily. I also wish I'd changed the kits a little bit, because I'm having a slight problem uh, distinguishing. And this lad, their number 10, so gets his shot away. Luckily, Sorrentino manages to dive down to his side to keep it out. Goodness me, that came all of a sudden. Um, they're going to send it straight in, and we're going to deal with it. Just not given the chances that he needs so far, and he does need them, because we, we need him to get his first goal, get the monkey off his back, as it were, so the, the papers don't do to him what they did to, uh, to Vasquez. They slaughtered him for not scoring, even though he was playing so deep. And here come Hearts. They've got a lot of players in and around, and that shot on the spin goes just wide. Uh, Masucci, keen to chase down. Can't get his foot into good effect yet. Uh, does manage to dispossess Rossi, their number 18. What, does, what do Hearts have? Or why do Hearts have a, uh, a player called Rossi? For them. B. King, that's more like it. Burger King stings it in there. And so, giving a bit of trouble to uh, Sorrentino. I think he might have been offside there, though. Uh, we're going to hoof it up. It's... Uh, it's almost the, the end of regular time. It is the end of regular time and indeed extra time. Nil-nil. Really, really piss poor, to be honest. We've not done much at all. Uh, disappointed by our play. I think I'm going to bring Mackinock to add a bit of danger in the air and see how we do in the second half. So here we are. Simon Mackinock's actually going to come on from Masucci, and I've moved Mascaro into that centre attacking mid roll. Uh, Hearts have also brought on Palado for Suchin Jumu, I think. Um, that's a hell of a name. So yeah, Mackinock had such an incredible uh, preseason tournament. It would be stupid of me not to not to play him and make use of him. Uh, Mascaro as well, I think, has got the right kind of finishing. If he does manage to get through in the centre, he's probably one of the best finishers we've got on the team. Mbolo turns his man, takes the shot, but it's an easy hold for Alexander. Puts it through for Yayalo. Through for Mascaro. 
We'll try and cut his way across and get his shot off. No chance in hell. Absolutely appalling attempt to uh, to stop them there. And it's just we're just running into people. And look at the space that So has. Surely he's offside, and he spooned it. He wasn't offside. He was perfectly onside, and he had all the time and space in the world to get that one right. But he's absolutely Gilardino'd it, and we get away with fucking murder there. Oh, Larry, Larry stuff from the keeper there. Really, really Larry, and hearts are just knocking it into space. I think this might come down to... I, I don't really know how the Europa League works, necessarily. I probably should as a Man United fan this season. Um, but Mackie Knox going to have a drive, and it's going to be a bad one. He needs to get these ones on target, no doubt. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but it could be a return game at hearts that I really don't want to play here. Are they, they, oh, they're, oh, they're parking the bus, I see. They're parking the bus, and it goes out for a corner. They've already parked it. I, I can't hear the commentary very well, so I, I don't really know for sure, but um, they're doing the stuck at the corner flag routine. And they're going to do it well. What am I supposed to do here? Yarlow stabs it away, but they'll keep it again. Oh, this is terrible. This is. Um, but they have played, they have overplayed their hand a little bit. And here comes Mbolo. He's going to put it through for Mascaro. He's going to spot that run from Villalba. And what a ball that is. And he's played it. He's volleyed it straight at the keeper. But what's going on here? They're pointing to the penalty spot in the 92nd minute. It came back. Was it handball? I don't know. Maybe because he tried to knee him in the head. I don't know. Who's going to take this? Who's going to take this? It's Mascaro. Mascaro. No... Mascaro in the 92nd minute. I don't know why he took the penalty, but he scored it. And Palermo won. Hearts nil in this Europa League qualifier. I have no idea how we got that penalty. But I am going to take it. Mascaro took it well. Sent the keeper the wrong way. 1-0. I'm swinging it onto ultra defensive. I'm going to try and sit back. I mean, I was certain that we were not going to get anything out of this because hearts were just where they were bringing it up to our corner flag and holding on to it. But what a result for us. 1-0 against hearts. I mean, I shouldn't really be celebrating that kind of result at all. It's a fucking affront. But with the game that we played, you know, hearts were so sturdy. They were so hard to break down. For us to get that kind of thing at the end of the match, I'm going to consider it a well-fought victory for us. So here we are in the aftermath of that game against Hearts where, goodness gracious me, in the 92nd, 93rd minute, in extra time at the end of the game, we managed to score that penalty and save our blushes against Hearts. Um, there will be a return leg at Hearts uh, coming up pretty soon, but our final game in the episode is going to be the first game of the Serie A season. We've been drawn away against Napoli, which is just bullshit, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, we've had an injury in the form of Vasquez. He's, he's picked up a knock. He's going to be out for three weeks. So Mbolo, Mackinock and Villalba is going to be our front three. Uh, I should also note as well that Robin Quezon has been picked up by Hellas Verona. They've made a bid for him of 2.4 million. I've accepted it and I'm pretty sure that coming up soon uh, they're going to accept the bid and he's going to move on and get over his hell of a time that he's had here at uh, Palermo. But in the meantime, we're going to go straight in. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, down in our centre-back spot, Boscagli, the lad that we were trying to buy from Nice. We came into some good money. I decided that I'd try and grab him. They managed to uh, acquiesce to a three million pound deal he's come in we've promised him a good spot so we're going to need to make use of him but 74 rated at 18 that's a good 10 years younger than the rest of our uh the rest of our defenders but at the same rating so i consider that a really good investment hopefully he'll be really good but yes we will dive in that auto replacement is for vasquez who sat in our substitute spot so let's see how we do against napoli so here we are against Napoli. As we can see here, that same really, really dangerous front three, strong midfield and reasonably good defense. Obviously, Muslera is a pretty good keeper as well. This is our new lad, Olivia Biscagli uh, from uh, Nice. 
I do believe, uh, for a fee of £3 million. Hopefully he'll have a good day, uh, good debut today, rather. Um, I want to introduce him straight into the first team, maybe get Andelkovic to, uh, to chill himself and calm down, um, use him as our backup defender. Uh, let's make sure this doesn't come to much. I don't want to concede in the first minute. I want to try and get rid of that cannon that we had in the, the previous season. Looks like we will, so let's see how we do. Oh, and that's a great deflection. And Mackinock's going to send it through. And it's Hector Villalba. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Muslera. And he can't do it. He can't bury it. Muslera came out, made himself big. And that'll be the best opportunity we have to score all season. Oh, no. I'm so affronted by that. Their number is Gonzalo Higuain. Gets a header on it on the other end of the field. But the camera should be pointing at Villalba should be fucking embarrassed to have missed that it's infuriating to watch and it's also infuriating to play with because we're about to hit the uh, come up to the uh, end of full uh, the end of half time and if he was on side that should have been buried there Jesus Christ I've never seen someone with so much room in the middle god that was almost as bad as fucking Villalba These passes are fine to watch, but they're not really getting us anywhere. Not enough overcommitment, except there. And Breel Donald in Bolo hits the post. I was certain that was going to be it. I was certain that was going to be his first goal. He took it so well, but it was a fraction too much. And now Villalba's going to swing in this cross towards the back and Musler is going to collect it. We've had two incredible opportunities to go up and it still remains nil-nil. Mascaro nips it back for Imbolo. We're going to have to stop and take our time with this one, I think. Imbolo does well. Hilliamark steaming forward. Feeds it through. And maybe... Oh, I was hoping we could feed it through for him, but that is just absolutely reflective of the first half that we've had here it's been piss poor all over the pitch finishing defending all sorts it's a joke absolutely horrendous and i can only hope that we're going to come back in the uh in the second half with a little bit more impetus uh, to make space to make chances and to actually finish them off because that was absolutely diabolical Confirmation of some changes. Chochev's going to come on from, for Yayalo, and Masucci is going to come on for Mosquero. Mosquero was flagging a little bit. He played the full time uh, against Hearts. That was only a couple of days ago, so he was still feeling that there. Um, yeah. As I say, we really need to do something impressive here to break down Napoli. Taking those chances is absolutely paramount. Uh, we cannot keep going where we do not take advantage of them. We have to get scoring. He's going to stab it through for Briel Donald and Bolo. He's going to try and make a bit of room here. He's kept a hold of it. Still kept a hold of it and actually managed to earn a fair corner there, I would say. Uh, Masucci's going to take this. He's not a bad set-piece person. And who is that? Boscagli came through and challenged Muslera. Let's have another look at this. Leaps. Just can't keep his header down. That would have been a fantastic debut goal for him. But unfortunately, it goes just over. Here comes Mackinock again. Tries to squeeze it through for Hilliamark. Does manage to do it. Masucci makes a bit of room. Can he do it? He has to blast it at Muslera. He should have maybe pulled it back for Hilliamark, but I think Hilliamark might have been marked. Yeah, it wouldn't have come off very well, but Muslera stands strong. And now Masucci is going to take this free kick. And it's going to be Boscagli. Who nips it in and Muslera leaps at Gonzalez's feet. I think he was offside anyway. Deary me. Villalba gets good. Hilliamark now. Oh, that's a horrendous touch from Masucci. So bad. It's killed the move off. And now Callihan in a good area. Can he keep it in? He can keep it in. He's kept into a great area and it's rocketed by their number 16, De Guzman. That should have been 1-0 Napoli. Absolutely should have been, but he's driven it over the bar. But I don't fancy doing this for much longer because I can't imagine that we're going to hold off Napoli the whole time here. Makianok isn't able to do too much, but that pass is good. Masucci holds onto it, feeds it forward for Villalba. 
He's going to be able to come into a good area here. And Chochev gets the header on target, but I was hoping they would have been driven across further towards Makinok. He is the one and only man that we want on the end of these ones. Chochev gets it through for Villalba. That's fantastic there. He's going to have to have a shot in the hopes that it gets a corner. I think it is a corner because this is going to be our best chance here. Masucci going to aim it for that central bit. And oh, Makinok. Not able to do much with it. Why is Chochev allowing that to bounce? Why do I not have control of him? Goodness gracious me. I would have loved to have fired it back in there while Muslera was still in no man's land. Um, Hillymark is going to try and go central. Lazar through to Chochev. Chochev churn. Chochev churns. Chochev, Chochev turns even. Hillymark now is going to have a shot. Can't slip it through the number 26's legs there. This is going to be one of the last chances we have, I think. Masucci going to send it in, and it's just not good enough at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe one more attack here. Masucci. Oh, that's, that was supposed to be a cross into the box, man. What was that? That's oh, Villalba. It's headed away, and surely this is it. They're not going to fuck it up here. No, not a chance. Nil, nil. Against Napoli, who FIFA definitely value as one of the, one of the people that are probably going to be ending up in the top spot. I don't mind 1-1. One, one, uh, nil, nil, even. I would have liked 1-1. One, one. Um, taking away a point, I can live with it, I think. Um, Muslera was on fire for a lot of that game. Our chances that we made were, were shit. After the first two, which should have gone in, we just didn't really have anything more of any substance. So, yeah, nil-nil. So here we are after that game against Napoli. Nil-nil is disappointing, but we do get some points, at least in the opening game. Um, our next game, as you can see, is going to be against Hearts in the Europa League. But that one will be for next episode. So... That's where I'm going to end the episode for us here. If you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.